What's up guys, it's PBK and we're back with another disassembly video. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 Active. Here's the phone. First thing you're going to want to do to take apart the phone, remove the SIM tray, which I already have done. Okay, next you're going to want to heat up the back cover of the phone. Just make sure it's nice and warm and you're going to have to pry off the back. You're going to use a pry tool, put it in between the frame and the back plate. You're going to gently work your way around. Just be careful, there's a flex cable over here underneath the back plate. You don't want to damage that, so work your way around and gently once you lift the plate up, you're going to disconnect the cable. Cables right here, connects to the main board, so with this connected it's gonna be loose. Next, there's 13 Phillips screws. Go ahead and remove those. Okay, so once you have all 13 Phillips screws out, you're gonna go ahead and take this wireless charging pad Pry it up a little bit, don't pull it off because it's attached to the top black plastic part. Just gonna make sure it's loose a little bit. Next, you can use your pry tool and you're gonna pop off the black plastic on top. It's off just like that. I have your battery connector over here. You're gonna go ahead and disconnect your battery. Next, you're gonna remove this black plastic piece over here. It's gonna come off. Now you're gonna take the bottom plastic cover off. Just go ahead and pry it up. Now this is holding your speaker over here. Okay, so at this point, you have your screen cable over here. Go ahead and disconnect that. It's gonna pop it up. And then you have a white and black cable over here. Go ahead and pop those up. Once you got those disconnected, you have a cable over here on top. Top corner, disconnect that. You're gonna disconnect your front facing camera. Go ahead and disconnect the one next to it. One of them might be the iris scanner. Here's one. Here's two. Part number on it says A77191170. It says Dream2 underscore SQ. Rev05 underscore T40. 
on the smaller one, it's P694, B as in boys, 0040. Okay, you have one more cable over here on the bottom corner. You're gonna have to disconnect that. It has a plus symbol on it. Just lift it up. Now you have one more Phillips screw over here that's holding the main board down. Go ahead and remove that. Now go ahead and lift up your board, but be careful on the bottom, it's still connected to a flex cable. And lift up and over. And you're gonna disconnect the cable over here on the bottom. Just like that. So here's your main board. Here's your main camera, the back facing one. You can disconnect it over here on the back. The cable's right here. Here's your memory card and SIM reader over here. Put the board aside. Now at this point, you're left pretty much with the battery, the frame, the screen, the vibrator, the earpiece, you're left with the flex cable that goes to your charger port and your headphone jack. Okay, your headphone jack is separate from the charger port. It connects to the board of the charger port so your headphone jack can be replaced separately and your charger port can be replaced separately. So go ahead and disconnect the headphone jack cable right over here. Disconnect that from the main board of the charger port. Now you're going to unscrew with the Phillips screwdriver. The Phillips screw you have over here for the headphone jack. Turn over so you guys can see. Here's your headphone jack. Put that aside. Now you have five Phillips screws you're gonna have to remove to remove the charger port. You have one, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and remove all those. Okay, once you got the screws out, there's a cable over here on the side of the phone that goes from the charger port flex. Just make sure you separate from the frame, it's just held on with some adhesive. You don't want to tear that. And gently pry the flex up. Get this white and black wire out of their place as well. There you go. Put that aside. Now at this point you're left with the battery, the frame, the earpiece, and the vibrator over here, along with your power switches on the side. Now at this point at the top of the phone, you have the front facing sensors over here on this metal bracket over here. Gently pry that off.
Here's your light sensor. Okay, now if you want to remove the battery, you're going to have to heat up the phone from the front so the phone warms up a little bit so the adhesive underneath the battery loosens up and you're going to have to pry up your battery it's generally from the sides to remove it and if you want to replace the screen and you're going to do the screen alone you're going to have to heat the front of the screen up so you can pry the screen off from the frame but I always suggest getting the screen that's already pre-installed to the frame so you don't have any issues later on installing it alright we're going to go ahead and reassemble the phone we're going to put the front sensor back in and also to note on the back of the front sensors on the plate there's a liquid damage indicator it's a sticker over here on the back so if any water touches it it'll turn pink or red it's just a white one over here with the X's put that back in alright next we're going to put the charger port assembly back in Make sure it's in its place. All right, now go ahead and put the Phillips screws back in. All right, now go ahead and put your headphone jack back. Connect the cable to the board over here. Put the Phillips screw back in for the headphone jack. All right, next go ahead and put your main board back in place. First, you're going to want to connect the cable, the flex cable from the charger port to the bottom of the main board on the back. Make sure that's connected. Then go ahead and Pop your board back in, make sure none of the cables get stuck underneath it. Alright, now put the Phillips screw back in for your main board. Make sure it holds it down. Now go ahead and connect the cables. Back to the board. I have a top flex cable over here as well. Now go ahead and pop in your front facing camera and the iris scanner.
Now go ahead and connect the battery back to the main board. Okay, once that's in place, go ahead and put the speaker assembly with a plastic cover over here back in place. Make sure it clicks in. Then go ahead and put the middle plastic cover back in place. And last, the top cover. Make sure you got it in place. Now go ahead and put the 13 Phillips screws back in. Okay, once you've got all the screws back in place, go ahead and reattach the cable from the back plate to the main board over here. Make sure it's connected. I'm not gonna put the back plate back in its place. Make sure it's in place. Press firmly so the adhesive around it reattaches. It has a pretty strong adhesive on the back and it's a thick water resistant one, which I like because it's reusable if you don't damage it. So you can reseal it and not have to worry about water getting back in. Okay, so now we're done. We're gonna go ahead and power on the phone. And here you go guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.